Hello students, welcome to Tego Kids. We are here with scratch programming tutorials. Today is your first class in which you are going to learn how you can create a dancing ballerina animation step by step using scratch. So let us start up the scratch editor. Introduction to scratch. Scratch is a block based programming language specially designed for children. With the help of Scratch, you can create your own stories, games, and animations. So let us go to Scratch. Here you have to click the Create button. We'll just close this video and this is Scratch platform where you can code your games, animations and stories. In the left corner, you can see certain colored buttons and some blocks next to them. Now, as you change the button, you can see blocks are changing. This area is called as block palette. And all these blocks in the block palette are categorized into color coded buttons. When you click motion, you will get blocks related to motion. When you click looks, you get blocks related to looks and so on. So that is how blocks are categorized here. This white area you are seeing is called as code area or work area where you can drag and drop your blocks. Like you just have to pick and keep it here. Okay, whatever block you want, you just drag and drop it here. And if in case you don't need a block, just pick and put it back. Pick and put it back. That's how simple it is. In the right, you can see a cat that is the default sprite. Now, what is a sprite in Scratch? Sprite is a character. So the default character is a cat. The area where cat is standing or cat is placed is called as stage. This white area is called as stage. This area where you can see this sprite and the other sprites will be appearing here or the characters that you will add to your game or story will appear here. This area is called as sprite area. In order to add some more sprites, you just have to click over the button, choose a sprite. You can see list of variety of sprites that you can add to your animation and games. This way. Again, these sprites are categorized into animals, people, fantasy, dance, music, sports, and so on. We'll just go back. And here, to add a backdrop, you just click over here. Backdrop is a background. That is helpful to set your stage. Again, backdrops are categorized into fantasy, music, sports, outdoors, indoors, and so on. Now, let us start with the basic animation. Let us make an animation where a ballerina is dancing. So to get a ballerina, let us click over choose a sprite. We'll search for ballerina here. You can see the sprite here. So we'll just click it. Okay, so this ballerina appears here on the stage. 
Now I don't need this cat for my animation. I'll just click over cat and then delete it. Now, in order to select an appropriate background for, for this dancing ballerina, let us go to backdrop. Choose a backdrop. Like anyone from, let us say, spotlight. Okay, we'll select this one. So here we have a backdrop and the sprite. Our state is ready. Let us start coding it. Now to start with, I want this ballerina to dance. Right now, it is not showing any movements. To check out the other appearances, poses, or movements of this ballerina, let us go to costumes where you can find various appearances of the sprite. These appearances are called as costumes. Now, in order to give an effect of dance, we just have to change these poses or costumes, right? So we will just switch various costumes to give a look of dance. Let's go back to code. And here in looks, you will find a block that says next costume. When you click over it, you can see on the stage that the sprite is showing the next costume. Now I want this thing to happen forever. This thing to keep repeating again and again. So we can just take a repeat block from control. Let's take and put it here. Okay, so you can see how quick the movements are. That's too fast, isn't it? So we'll just ask this ballerina to wait. Wait while it changes the costume. So from here, you just pick the wait block and place it here. Okay, now let us see how it is going. Okay, this seems fine. Or you can just add another weight and another costume. We can do it quickly. From looks, we will say next costume. And before changing the costume, should wait for one second. Yes, so it is changing the costumes and the entire thing is repeated 10 times. Okay, so let us add some music to this dance, right? To add some music, you can go to sounds tab to check the available music. Here we have pop. And that's somewhat not suitable for the dance performance. You can click over choose a sound to go to sound library where you can select various sounds in order to select one for this, let us say classical piano. This one. Just click over it. From here, you can edit a bit. Like you can fade in and fade out louder and softer or mute it or you may reverse it and make a robotic sound too. Now, we'll just fade it out to give a finishing touch. Let's go to code and add the sound. To add a sound, Go to sounds category. Here you can find a block that says start sound classical piano. 
we'll just place it here. Yes, now the entire thing should start working when we say it like this green flag is clicked. So to give this instruction, we'll say that when green flag is clicked, start sound classical piano and repeat these steps. So let us see if it works. You can see music ended, but the dance is still going on. So we can just re reduce the repeat loops to five and let us check now. Okay, you can still adjust it and bring to a point where it should coincide, the sound should coincide with the repeating loop. Now, if you see the ballerina's pose has come to this thing. Um, in the start and the end of the video or the animation, it should not appear this, this way. So we can just say it to switch the costume to a particular costume and that is costume A. You can see all the costumes are alphabetically given here. You just have to select the first one. So at the end of the dance, ballerina will be in the first pose or the first costume. Let us see. Yes, this will be its default pose every time it completes the dance. Now for every performance, there is some cheering, isn't it? How about, how about adding a cheering sound here? Let us go to sound tab again and to the sound library. We will search for cheering sound. You will find it here. You can hear it. Okay, now let us go to code and give the instruction to play the sound. Go to sounds category and play sound cheer until done. Before the actual performance starts, it should start the cheering sound. Let us see how it looks like. This way, the dance will come to an end. And after the end of the performance, there is something like clapping sound. How about adding this one? Let's go to sound tab and again search for clapping sound. Yes, we'll just select this one. You can edit a bit to give it a finishing touch this way. Let's go to code tab again and add the sound at the end. Start sound clapping at the end of the performance. Now let us see. You can also view it in full screen mode over here. Start the green button. And see the dancing performance of the ballerina. Isn't it amazing? Now you know how you can create dancing ballerina animation. 
so we recommend you to make it again with some more effective changes. If you want to learn more about Scratch, keep watching our videos. Also make sure you subscribe to our channel to get more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.